So how do you record your Mac screen with audio from your desktop on macOS Sierra? I've got the answer to this question coming at you in this video. What's up guys, Patrick here and this is Tutorial Weekend with another video. On this channel I've got tech reviews, vlogs, and tips and tricks and other fun videos just like this one so if you're new here consider subscribing now let's jump right into the video or actually on my desktop now um, what I'm going to show you is this this is a website it's uh, on the github uh, repository I guess now you're going to need soundflower which is totally free and you can download it on this website I will link it in the description uh, it says Yosemite Mavericks El Capitan but I'm currently on macOS Sierra so it also works on this one so don't worry um, I don't know if they haven't updated it but anyways it works you're gonna download download it open it up and just skip the check now what you're going to do is the following as soon as it loads loads up so you're gonna do the following you're going to click on soundflower you're gonna open uh, right click it open with installer i don't know why uh, but it doesn't work if you are just click on it you're gonna continue as I have already installed it, uh, I'm not going to install it again. It's really simple. You just install it and it's and it's done. Second thing on the list you need to do is go to Spotlight Search and search for MID, MIDI. There you go. You open it up. So MIDI, let me do this again. So it's uh, Audio MIDI Setup. You're gonna click it, open it up. Now, now what you're gonna do is click on this plus and create multi output device. Now, if you have created the multi output device, you're gonna click Soundflower 2 CH. You're gonna have a list of devices, all of your audio devices. So I have, for example, the Scarlett Solo USB plugged into my MacBook. So this is probably something you're not going to have. But anyway, so this is this is those are the two options you have to click. Now, since I have already uh, set up my um, audio devices, I'm going to just delete it. So it just looks like this. Now, I don't know if you know this, but in QuickTime, when you actually open the QuickTime player, you have the option to capture your screen. So you're going to File, New Screen Recording, and this should show up. Now, with this little arrow, you're going to click it and select Soundflower 2H, uh, 2CH, so it's two channel, two channels. Now, if you click on this one, and I'm going to try this, I'm going to click on this uh, screen, and I'm going to open this up, and you should notice that if I play um, the video. I'm going to actually hear my and hopefully I will sound. show you some so awesome footage. So let's I go. I hope this was helpful to you. And thanks for watching. Thanks for spending time uh, on my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess I see you in the next video. Bye bye. See you later.